Hey, what's going on people? Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your lags, get better FPS and performance in Fortnite's Chapter 3 Season 4, which was dropped out recently. I highly recommend you guys to watch this video till the end and I'm going to be fixing all of your problems. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below. I'm going to be leaving a reply to each one of you individually. And with all this said, let's roll the intro. Alright, so beginning off with the really first step, that is pressing the Windows key and then search for create a restore point. Once you are in the system properties, look up for local disk C or the drive which says system over here. Then simply click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Click on OK and then click on create and now name it Fortnite. Then click on create and let it do its job. If anything goes wrong to your computer, you can always restore everything back to normal. Once it's done, simply click on close and then close the system properties. Alright, I want to introduce you guys to Videoproc Vlogger. It is completely free to use editor that has all features that you need. It has 28 motion preset, motion cropping, pan and zoom, changing motion path. It also has audio editing, color grading and much more features. Simply download and open up Videoproc Vlogger from the link in the description below and you can start creating your projects with any name and it can even edit your projects at up to 120 fps and honestly it's great for making montages just over here i've been making a fortnite montage and as you guys can see i've added my clips from here that i've recorded and as you guys can see you can zoom in and zoom out in the clips you can split and split all from the clips you can start rippling the edit and over here it has a lot of presets just over here as i was recording this kill you can simply click on speed and then just change it according to you so it looks just like a montage just over here you can start playing and there you go you can select the kills from the presets over here it has custom montage bullet jump fast in and out and a lot of presets over here and if you want you can also select between changing voice pitch or not just over here i've applied this little preset in here and it also has features of motion just clicking on that and you will see all kinds of motion that you can snip to your video over here you can add zoom in fast zoom in zoom out fast zoom out and a lot of presets heartbeat sounded something new to me so i've added heartbeat to this and it gives this little heartbeat kind of effect to your video it looks cool honestly so whenever you are making a montage you can definitely use all of these uh, motion crop speed color and a lot of preset that this apps offer you you can also add text it has an audio extractor you can record your voiceovers and do a lot of things in the application itself it has a lot of transitions over here it has a lot of titles over here it also has effects that you can add into your video that automatically increases the quality of your video right over here you can change the resolution of your video to up to 4k and this allows you to export your videos at 120 fps something that i really like a lot about this application and the best part is that it is beginner friendly it has a super simple interface and it is completely free and it has no watermark so what are you waiting for go check out video proc vlogger link is in the description below Alright, once you are done with the restore point, press your windows key and then search for settings. Once you are in settings, click on find a setting and then look up for game mode. Then click on turn on game mode and then make sure that game mode is enabled. Under the related settings, go to graphics and over here, you have to make sure that Fortnite is already added in this list. If not, you can always click on browse and add Fortnite in here. For me, I've already added Fortnite in my list. So simply click on options and then go to high performance. Click on save and then click on Windows update. Over here, go to advanced options. In here, go to delivery optimizations and make sure to allow download from other PC is turned off. Once you're done with that, simply close your settings and let's move to step number three. Step number three is disabling your startup applications. And this is going to significantly help you guys. 
press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together and then go to Startup section in the Task Manager. In here, you will find a list of all the applications installed on your PC. What you can do is look through this list and then disable all of the unwanted applications. I've already done for mine and if you want to disable any application, simply right click on it and then click on Disable. Once you're done with that, simply close your Task Manager. Now step number 4 is downloading the Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4 FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. You can simply download and open this pack up and in here you will find in 3 folders and a text document with the ultimate power plan. Simply open up this text document and copy this string on top. Then close it, open command prompt and run this as administrator. Once you are in here, simply paste this string over here and press enter. I've already done that for me, so I'm just gonna close it. Now once you're done with that, simply search for uh, control panel in here and then over here search for power options. Go to power options and then make sure to select ultimate performance from here. Then simply close power options. Now go to folder number one, which is registry optimization fixes. And in here you have CPU speed, fix mouse delay and Fortnite optimization dot registry. You have to right click and then run all of these registries manually. You can simply click on merge or double click to run it. In case anything goes wrong, you can always reset to the default registries from here. If not, you can always use restore point to get back to all of the default registries. Once you are done running all of these registry optimizations, go to the second folder, which is the storage and memory optimization. In here, you will find cache cleaner and the FPS bag. Simply double click and run all of these files. And once you're done with that, simply close it. Now for the FPS bat, simply right click and run this as administrator. And it will be done in no time. Now go back in the third folder, which is the RAM optimization folder. And you will find in presets to almost all types of RAM allocations. You can look up for yours in the system information. For me, I am using 16 GB of installed physical memory. So I'm going to run 16 GB RAM dot registry. This is going to optimize your performance of RAM drastically. Once you're done with that, you can close the FPS pack. And now one of the most important steps to do is press Windows and R key together. And once the run opens up, you have to type in percentage app data percentage. Now it will automatically send you to app data. Now over here, come back and then go to local. And in here, you have to find Fortnite. I have found mine in here, go to saved. And in this, you have to go to config. Then go to Windows client. And in here, you will find game user settings dot I and I simply right click and then go to properties and make sure it is not read only. If it is not simply double click and run it, it will open up in a notepad editor. If not, you can simply right click on it, go to show more options and then you can open it with notepad or wordpad. Now, once you are over here, you have to make sure to look into a few settings. Number one is the ray tracing and make sure that it is always turned to false. You do not need ray tracing enabled because it is going to consume your processing power like hell. Then you have to look up for latency tweak one and make sure to turn it to true. Also latency tweak two and make sure that it is set to 2. Then scroll down all the way to find scalability groups over here. And then for the SG resolution quality, I highly recommend you guys to set it to 90. If you have a very low end PC, set this to 90. And if you have a decent computer and with a graphic card equivalent to GTX 1050 Ti, keep it 200. But if you have a graphic card under than 1050 Ti, I highly recommend you guys to set your resolution quality to 90 and the viewing distance quality to 1 and leave everything down below to 0. Once you are done with that, simply press Ctrl and S key together and then simply close the game user settings.ini. To fix all your network issues, I highly recommend you guys to use exit lag. It's the pro's choice and my choice as well. Once you are done downloading exit lag from the link in the description below, you can find a list of over 250 games to choose from. I have already chosen Fortnite from this list and I have already selected my game region that is Mumbai 01. Once you are done with that, you can see the estimated ping that you will get in the game. Now simply click on apply routes and then go to tools. 
The best part of this application is that it also offers you a section of FPS boost dedicatedly. In here, you can define maximum priority for games, then disable energy efficient Ethernet, disable game bar and game DVR, disable core parking and disable super fetch. Once you are done with all of these settings, simply close it and restart your PC once and then you are good to go well with fixing your all kinds of network problems in game. Once again, exit lag is free to use for three days, but I highly recommend you guys to get the subscription for exit lag. Now you can get the exit lag subscription for monthly, semi-annual or quarterly basis. But if you use code bearfox20, you can get an instant 20% off on your first purchase. So make sure to choose wisely. Once you're done with that, I highly recommend you guys to open up your game and then follow the in-game settings. Okay, once you are in game, simply click on these three dots and then go to settings. Now, once you are over here, you will find your 3 resolution set to 90 as we have already done the same in the game files. Now, for the view distance, we have set it to 1 so our view distance is set to medium. Then, I recommend everything set to low and then for the advanced graphics, go down and set your rendering mode to performance beta. Then simply click on apply and then click on confirm. Make sure your this page looks exactly like mine. Then a very important setting lies under the settings gear. You have to scroll all the way down until you find replace and make sure that everything over here is turned off. This is going to consume a lot of processing power in your computer. So I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off to get better FPS performance in game. Now simply click on back and now you can enjoy the gaming experience. If you find any other quality loss, you can always crank up your 3 resolution to 100 and that's going to set everything back to normal. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below. It seriously helps me out a lot and encourages me to make more awesome guides like this. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.